All right, so let's kick things off here with section two, creating a simple AR application with A-Frame and AR.js. So as I mentioned before, A-Frame is a very similar language to HTML. So although in this section here, we aren't going to be really coding in JavaScript, we are going to be interacting with APIs that do use JavaScript on the back end. However, these languages are basically using the JavaScript on the back end, but communicating with that JavaScript through HTML like code in order to create scenes in the browser or basically in AR.js's case to transfer that into augmented reality itself. AR.js is a very powerful API and you can get some really awesome projects going really quickly in web AR using A-Frame as well as AR.js. So the videos that we have set up here for this section are going to begin with setting up our project and creating our scene. Then after that, we are going to be going into object meshes and mesh attributes. So object meshes are basically what shapes and different types of structures you can create using the A-Frame code. After that, then we are going to be going into adding text using A-Frame code, as well as animations for the objects. Following that, we are going to go into looking for different textures that you can find online, and then applying those to your objects in case if you want to use a custom texture instead of the ones that come in A-Frame that you can use defaultly. Then finally, we are going to add the AR.js API to our application, and that is basically going to transverse our project from the browser into AR. So like I said before in the last section, A-Frame is actually a predominantly web VR language. However, because of AR.js, it's actually allowing us to take what we create from the browser in A-Frame that's normally used for web VR and basically put it into the augmented world. So let's get started here with video one, setting up our project and creating our scene. So first off, I want you to head off to the A-Frame website here, and I want you to download the JavaScript build file and we're gonna be using the production version. Following this, then we are going to create our application skeleton with the A-Frame JavaScript build file that we downloaded from the site and create our index HTML file. Then next, we are going to open up our HTML file in the text editor of your choice and require the A-Frame build file through a script tag. And then after that, we are going to create our scene with one object. And that should give you guys a good idea of how A-Frame works to begin with. So let's go off here to the A-Frame website and go on down to the product version right here. You can download it and let's download it and then let's drag and drop it onto our desktop. So now that's on our desktop, let's create a folder and we could just call this A-Frame app. So inside here, let's create another folder here and we could just call this A-Frame and we're going to basically hide this build file. And let me just rename this really quickly. So make sure that yours is aframe.min.js. This is what we are going to be using. I actually was practicing before. That's why that little number one was there. But yeah, make sure that it's aframe.min.js. And now next we are going to create a other file. We're gonna create our index file. So let's open up another window here. And inside here, we are going to create an HTML build file. So if you're using index file, so if you're using Sublime, switch it to HTML. And we are going to save this here to our A. No, let's save that to our desktop, actually. And here we're going to call this here just AR index. Okay, so it's right there. So drag and drop that right in here. And let's start uh, doing some code here. So let's do uh, HTML, create the build right there. So right now uh, we don't need the head, the title or the body. So let's get rid of those. And first off, we are going to need to require this A-frame build file through a script tag. So let's create a type and we are gonna create a source here of A-frame, basically the path that we have before and then aframe.min.js. Save that and now, the first thing that you want to use in uh, when you are creating an index file using A-Frame is to create an a scene tag. So create your a scene tag, and this is where pretty much all of our A-Frame code is going to go into. So let's start off here with a skybox, and the skybox we are actually going to be deleting later on. We just are going to be using the skybox right now for 
displaying the object that we are going to put in using the A-frame code. So this is basically just going to give us a nice little background in the browser of our A-frame application. So let's set this here to gray. Okay. Uh, so now that we have this code, let's test and see how it's working in the browser. So let's open this up here with Google Chrome. And then finally, when you open that up, you should have this nice gray background over here. You can also tell that the A-frame API is also working because you actually will have this Google Cardboard mode right over in the bottom right-hand corner. So over here, there's not too much really going on. So let's close out of our browser and let's add a let's add an object an object in here. So there's a lot of different object meshes that you can play around with, and you can actually find them on the A-frame website in the A-frame documentation. So let's do a torus. So torus. And we will start off with a torus tag and then close that off. So in this torus tag, let's give it a position. And this is where you can set the attributes. So for example, you can set the position of the torus, the color of the torus, and also the radius of the torus. So now that that's all done, let's take a look inside our web browser again. And right there is our Taurus. So right now, you guys should all have a good understanding of how to set up an A-frame application using the file from the A-frame website. And you should know how to set it up with the basic file structure. You should also know how to set up an HTML file using the text editor of your choice and how to basically set up a simple A-frame scene with one object and the skybox.